How's it going? And welcome to another episode of Timmas Tutorials. And today we will be doing basically uh, making walls that stick out, you know, and uh, making it look like this. It's going to be great. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are. Um, we're at my ogre build right now. And um, in the process of creating my little ogre building here, I, I, you know, the more you play with stuff, the more you figure out. And, you know, coming up with new ways of doing things. And I thought this was kind of interesting, so I'd figure I'd, I'd share it with you guys. And uh, so. I've created a wall here and it is 28 voxels by 17 voxels and you notice it's two voxels thick. The front uh, little texture that I have here is a medium intricate stack stone bricks and the back side is just the intricate stone cut and they are this way for a reason and it will all make sense as we do this tutorial. Now. What I was initially trying to do was create bricks that look more natural than, uh, than what was given to us uh, through the texturing. And the texturing is cool, but as you can tell, there's really no gapping in here. It, it's The texturing doesn't really look realistic. So I wanted to do something that was a little bit better. And for this reason, I'm going to take this pattern and turn it into my own bricks just like was on the building there. Um, we're going to kick this off by selecting the lines inside of my brick uh, texture pattern here because it is a good start for what I want to do with my, my actual build here. And I'm going to delete out the lines and there are certain things about this that I'm going to leave in here <clears throat> because it will show you how to actually fix some of the problems that you'll end up running into but I'm just going to select through all of these lines and then delete them with my delete key if you run into a vertical, uh, two lines that are vertical like was here, kind of break those up a little bit. Kind of just uh, go to a different area and that way they're not exactly right side by side, you know, within one voxel uh, gap. Um, try to leave at least one voxel between each of your lines. I left this one over here um, so that I could show you what to look for and how to fix it. So this is the only one that should come up in that fashion. After we get all the lines kind of cut out of here, we're going to grab that front face and then go to our smooth tool. And if you notice underneath my, my uh, little video here, you'll see where it, it gives you an option for the smooth tool, which is hold F for more granular smoothing. So I'm going to hold F and I'm going to click it four times four to five times would be uh, enough for what we're doing here. Um, you can kind of play with that to get the exact look that you're looking for. But for this, I'm doing it about four times. And what that does is it smooths it down and it looks more like a rock texture and it looks pretty good for a wall. But the grout section between our different big stones is too thick for what I'm looking for. So I want to bring that down and make it a little bit tinier and that's where we're going to be leading into next which I've already done some prep work for us here. We need this which is a small reactor for a single voxel and then we have this which is five voxels in a row and I've painted the center because that's the one we're going to be pulling out and uh, what we're going to be creating is a panel voxel so let's grab this vo single voxel that I have up in the world and I'm going to smooth this down three about three times there I believe and uh, but this is the size that I'm after go back to my selection tool do a control C to copy control V to paste and I'm going to replace these voxels on the 
corners of this little reactor to make the panel. So there's my panel. I'm now going to copy that and I'm going to stack this up one, skip one, skip one, and paste. If you get them too close to that, then they'd just make this really long stack of really thick voxels, and we and that's not what we're after. Next, we want to take our line tool, and we're going to go to each side face, and do the skeleton key technique to smooth this out. And you can see that one side has flattened. I'm going to do this on each side face all the way around until we have something that ends up looking like this here. And it's basically a single voxel thickness all the way around except for the top and the bottom. You know, you notice it's, it's a small little panel. We're going to take that Control C to copy, Control V to paste, and we're going to create a line of these. And remember, our width was, or width of the wall was 28 voxels. So you, you would create a line of these that was 28 voxels. And I've kind of saved us some time and already created a long panel that we're going to be using here. And it should be 28 voxels. Control C to copy. Control V to paste. And where I'm going to be putting this is on that back side. That back side of our two voxel wall. So it's one voxel behind our actual brick texture here. And I'm going to paste. I'm going to do this on my horizontals, like so. Paste those in. And we can see that it kind of pulls that texture into this little V pattern so it actually brings that mortar or that uh, that grouting uh, between the bricks into that small little voxel that we put in there now the smaller that panel is the smaller that grout's going to be and or bigger you know the little panel is the bigger that little grout's going to be and so so on and so forth now the gaps between the horizontals which is right here is five voxels. You notice I didn't select the horizontals on the top or the bottom. The only thing I want is the parts that's in between to find out what my my sizing of that uh, that voxel needs to be. So I'm going to grab a five voxel section of my little uh, panel line there. Control V. And I want to line this up with my mouse pointer. Now and then I'm going to rotate it onto the side like this. Let's get this thing halfway lined up with my mouse and then get it to where it actually drops back one voxel into the wall and that way I can just take my mouse and click it right where it needs to be fairly quickly. If you notice, I see some little see-through areas there, but don't worry, that'll all fix itself. It'll it'll kind of fix itself a little bit, and I'll show you um, how you can kind of clean it up if it happens to want to stay there. Now, we have that, and if we look at the back side, it looks just like the front, okay? And if I take, you can see right here, where you can see that little see-through section, take your line tool, make it a little bit bigger, and just drag it across that back side of the wall you can see it cleaned it up no more see-through so we're all fixed there and even the front side is looking okay now too now this is where you know you can leave it like this and you have those rounded corners uh, for your brick pattern and it, it's fine there's nothing wrong with that but say we wanted to bring that up to where it's like sharp points on <clears throat> on those corners so it, it looks like more of a really intricate uh, or a highly detailed you know carved wall or something like that well for that I set up this little five voxel line with the center when uh, kind of painted we're gonna select the three voxels in the center without selecting the ones on the end here on this little little line of voxels I've created I'm gonna take my smooth tool 
and I'm going to smooth this down to where it's close to the thinness of what I used for my microvoxel and two or three times four times if you need to and to get it down to that shape we're going to select nothing but the center one you can do a control C to copy and I'm going to go to the back side of my wall control V and you see there it is let's get this lined up to my mouse as much as I can that'll do there we go drop it back one and we're going to replace those corner sections with this microvoxel you can see it brings all those edges nice and sharp in there now this is that section I was telling you about that you know you're going to end up fighting with and that's because they're one voxel away from each other if I click here and then I click here you see that angle jumps back and forth you're going to have a problem with this the more you kind of fight with it so to fix that we're going to make a selection here to here don't worry about that grout line right there come to your front and pull it out one <clears throat> we're going to drop this down a little bit closer on this side because we're going to be shifting this over into that direction so let's make it a little smaller there we go control C to copy control V to paste I'm going to drop this right on top so it overlaps in that same position I'm going to shift it over into that direction right there one voxel and then we're going to paste and you notice it's all looking pretty now so let's go back and grab that uh, little string voxel that we created come back to the back side and we're going to paste back into that corner again and that's going to clean that up so we have nice lines through it and we're still not done yet at this point we want to make a selection of all of the front face don't worry about the back just grab the front face and we're going to be using this texture right here which is a desert cavern ceiling and we're going to be using that as our texture here let's get back to our paint tool and we're going to paint this front you notice we have this white color in here now well that's because we use that white texture here this uh, desert cavern ceiling is a good blending uh, pattern between two different uh, textures <coughs> but that white is not what we want we want this dark color right here at least for this build so we're gonna grab this uh, tundra dirt uh, texture right here and come to the back side of your wall and paint all the lines with it So, all painted now. Now look at the front side now. It actually looks like it's recessed into it. You know, it actually gives that, you know, brick to brick or stone to stone look to it. And you can play around with different textures to get find the one that you want. But for this uh, demonstration, I used that desert cavern ceiling, and it works really good. Okay. Now, we want to modify these these bricks a little bit, make them a little bit more of your own and for this I'm going to come right into that merger joint for this brick right here I'm going to show you just some slight little modifications you can do and for that I'm going to just grab right there pull it to me and go up two voxels copy paste just overlap it and then bring it down one two and paste so we can start formulating our own little brick texture in the process and just by copying the brick itself and the mortar joints don't forget the mortar joints when you're doing this copying and pasting 
and if we come around back you can see how it's starting to shape up and you notice we have those little little triangular shapes again um, this is when you go back and grab that string come back to the back side and we want to close those up one see if I can get it right without there we go and then we're going to paint it to the tundra dirt color clean it up and now we have a nice you know section of wall that we can take and duplicate and put it side by side do a little bit of work to it and you can surround your whole entire building or build the whole entire building out of this and you can copy that make the, the walls thicker if you would like if you're gonna make the walls thicker I would suggest taking this making a copy of the back and then pasting it right on the top like this that way it doesn't um, mess up the actual gapping in your walls um, and for that you can also take this and select two voxels worth copy paste bring it up mirror it into it and then paste this one on the back so that it lines up with the old mortar joints that were in there and that way we have nice thick bricks and you can do this with the whole entire building if you would like that way you have thick walls and you can sit there and modify it as you as you would like and um, with that that is my walls <laughs> or my ogre walls and um, I will see you on the next tutorial